Are you ever building something in TypeScript and realize, ah, this package is not exporting a type I need? Fortunately, TypeScript gives us a number of utility types that can solve this common problem, such as return type, that gives you the type returned by a function. So now I can use this as my argument here, but we still have an issue. This is an async function that returns a promise and we need the type inside the promise. That's where we can use the awaited type to now give us the value the promise resolves to. But what if we need argument types for that function? That's where we can use the parameters utility type to get a tuple for the argument types for this function. In our case, we want the type of the first parameter, but lastly, we don't want content kind or undefined. So we can use the non-nullable utility type to give us the exact type and remove any null or undefined optional values. So now we can use this in our function definition here, and we've got all those types we need now. Utility types can also help us a lot with our React components. For instance, I have a simplistic component to edit calendar events, where I have an event object on state, and we modify the title on change. But can you find the state bug in this code? Here, we're mutating the event object. If we do that, React won't re-render, and this input won't work as expected. We can solve that by making this a read-only event. Now TypeScript knows we're not allowed to mutate any properties on this event object. So now we know that we have to copy this event, like so. Now one problem you might still find is read-only is only top level, so I still can mutate nested objects in arrays. With only a few lines of code, we can make our own deep read-only type, which I'll include all of this in the full blog post, as well as a breakdown on how it works. So now if we use that, we can catch that we can no longer mutate anything in this entire tree. Now TypeScript will only be satisfied if we properly copy all values if we want to modify them. And lastly, if we wanted to encapsulate all this stuff into a custom hook, where we instead can provide an update event function, so we don't always have to do that copying manually, we can simply call update event with any new properties. At first, TypeScript will complain because we don't have all event properties there. We can change this to use the partial utility type, so now all properties are optional. Now if we want to do the opposite of that, the required utility makes all properties mandatory, even if originally optional. Or if you only want to allow certain keys to be included, we can use the pick utility type to specify a union of properties we want to allow. So now title and date are allowed, but not attendees, which will give us errors. Or we can do the opposite with omit to include any property except those that we list out. So if we include attendees here, we no longer are allowed to write it here. Do you know what other awesome utility types TypeScript provides? You can read all about it, including all the code snippets I showed here and all the other great utility types in my latest blog post on the builder.io blog.